Right, hello YouTube. Uh, so yeah, just posting this video because I've got a uh, machina here and I wanted to use it with uh, Traxor Pro and um, I couldn't see any good instructional videos of how to get the two um, synced up nicely. So you've got machina on this channel here and then you've got Traxor running on these three and they're all nice in sync. You can have it on uh, this mode, control mode or on step mode and it'll run through nicely. Yeah, I couldn't see any good uh, good videos describing how to do this with one laptop. Uh, obviously, there's other people out there doing it with two, um, but uh, I can't afford to. So, yeah, here's how you do it with one. So, first of all, you need to make sure that you've got in the top corner here, um, this should be on auto, you don't need to worry about clock master, and then you need to press play on here to make sure it's um, tractor is outputting a signal. Um, you need to check it is doing that by going to settings there and then when this comes up uh, you go to MIDI clock and make sure this send MIDI clock is checked. So with that done you can then go into um, go into uh, Machina which is here and you then need to make sure that uh, here is click sync to external MIDI clock that should be checked there. Um, and hopefully it should start reading the BPM of whatever whatever's going on here. There's one other funny little thing that I found out. For some reason, some some people's tractor, you need to make sure that um, in your controller manager here, if you go to generic MIDI, this one here, you need to make sure that the generic MIDI is um, outputting here. So it should be uh, output all ports. Um, if it's just choosing one of them, uh, like a keyboard or whatever, uh, then you need to make sure that's on all ports, otherwise Traktor won't output a MIDI signal to um, to battery, because basically what you're doing is you're you're running on the input here of the virtual, the virtual input is actually what you're using. Um, this is on a Mac, I think on a PC you have to download an extra piece of software called MIDI Yoke or something, but yeah, on the MIDI, you're going to be coming in from this virtual uh, virtual input so you need to make sure um, well, wait, here we go, outputs so tractor virtual input that's the one we've got on there um, that's the one that you're going to be picking up the MIDI clock from so let me just pause for a second I'll just show you how to get them in sync so if we uh, let's stop tractor here and we'll uh, give this a rest as well let's just mute that for a second uh, so yeah, what you want to do is go in Traktor Pro back here, go up to your uh, MIDI clock and activate tick and then choose monitor on one of the channels. You should be able to hear that. You start getting this click through. Now if we go back to battery, you can then, so I've, actually I've still got all this playing, hang on. Uh, so. So there we go. We then hold shift and play and then press play and you get the clock on um, you get the clock on machine coming through as well. You can then adjust the clock by going to file audio um, sorry preferences and then you can adjust it here the sync offset. So you just move that up and down. You can hear that sort of worse. That's about right, about minus 30. It's going to be minus most likely because it's going to be a latency rather than it being in front. But yeah, just shift that up and down until you get it about right. Um, and then the final thing is when, you're, when you've got them both running, you need to click on sync here to actually set them in sync. For some reason, I'm not sure why, it's beat four of the bar you sync them with mine. So it'd be one, two, three, four, and you press sync on that fourth beat, and that'll get the two going. So we can start a track here. You'll hear it fall back into sync. You can take the tick off here, and you can take the tick off, tick off machine. So we've got that one running, and then you should be able to, um, yeah, just start messing around with, uh, start messing around with the sounds here. We've got. 
And if it feels like it's about out of sync, which Alan does, I don't think I actually got that one quite right. You need to press sync again on the fourth beat of the bar. Here's so a one, two, three, four. There we go. They're all running nicely now. And then you can just choose, um, yeah, choose some of your pads. Let's go to a clap, maybe. Put it on control mode if you want. Hit record, and then just do whatever you like. running there and then back on track or you can just drop in other tracks as well So there we go, syncing the two together.